I asked Lori if she wanted to come on and talk with me because her specialty is actually being an e-flirt and teaching people how to e-flirt, which is using online, so Twitter, Facebook, online dating, whatever it is, it's using a virtual world to interact, flirt, um, date, create attraction through those mediums. So hi, Lori. Thank you for, for talking with me. I'm the founder of eFlirt Expert, and we're a company that's service-based, and we help you date online and then get offline because really you just want to meet online. You don't necessarily want to create a relationship online. <laughs> I was an early adopter to online dating. I started 11 years ago. What? Was the internet even around 11 years ago? Jesus. Yes, I was 18. Oh and, <laughs> and, um, and, you know, before that, too, like, I was on Match.com when I was 18, hey. but before that, I was in chat rooms, and I was just having a blast and always very curious about technology and how it fit into the flirting equation. And then I started convincing my friends to do it. And they'd be like, no way. And soon I'd wear them down and they'd make an account and they'd come back to me a few months later and they'd be like, no, just that. <laughs> why did you ever tell me to do this? Really? Okay. Um, so I knew they had to be doing something wrong because I was meeting all these great guys. So I would look at their profiles and be like, oh no, take that out, put this in, you know, remove this, I wrote this for you. I'm going to interrupt you for a second. So yeah. can you tell me maybe two of the mistakes that you noticed that people were making when they were creating their online profile? Yeah, the big one is profile photos. It's the first thing everyone looks at. Okay. Um, so having a good main photo is important and you know you want to make sure that it's a clear shot of you that it's recent um that it puts you in your best light for guys actually there's some there's a recent study that says you shouldn't be smiling and i don't necessarily think that it depends on the site that you're on i don't yeah. think that that's right for everyone like if you're older and you're on eHarmony, you should be really approachable and smiley. Um, but if you're 20-something and you're, you're on OkCupid and you want to hook up a lot, then maybe <laughs> play it cool. Um, okay. I like that. No, that's really good advice because actually OkCupid did a study where it was talking about guys who are turning yeah. their head to the side rather than face on. And exactly. That, okay. Yeah. And, and off to the side is more effective. It is. It's more mysterious. It's like, why isn't he looking at me? And it's, it's not too eager and too needy. So... Anyway, sorry, continue. But it, but, it, but it just depends on your demographic too, right? Who you're yeah. trying to reach and who you are. Gosh, um, I agree. And something else I see people do wrong is that they use too many cliches. Um, so it's really hard to be original in your profile, but that's the most important thing. Um, so you want to avoid saying things like, I love to get dressed up for a night on the town, but... I also can hang on my couch and watch a movie. Like, that doesn't really tell me anything about you because everyone likes to do both of those things. But I love to laugh. That's my favorite. I love to laugh. Like, don't we all love to laugh? Exactly. I agree um, with that. Okay, so not, not as many cliches. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Instead, like, be specific about what's going on. So um, what, what would be an example of being more specific? Like, be specific about where you like to go out. Okay. Um, so use, you know, take the idea of what you're writing and then just give it something that's a, a little bit deeper. Mm -hmm, exactly. Okay. Um, also, if someone else likes to go there, then you're going to start a conversation back and forth about that. And it's a really easy way for them to email you. Tell me about flirting online. Is flirting online different than flirting in real life? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, okay, explain. On, online, um, there's no body language, right? Right. And as I'm sure you know, body language is it's so telling. So um, when you're online, you take that element away, and the nuances are in um, it's in the text. Okay, interesting. And so you have to be very savvy about the way you word things. Okay, so for can you give me an example of a, a flirty text or flirty Facebook message? Like, let's say there's a guy who met a girl somewhere and got her Facebook account, what yep. would you advise him to be the first way to reach out to her? Well, the first thing you should do is you should friend request her, but you should also send her a message with that request. And you should be like, just mention how you met so she remembers who you are. And don't be too verbose. 
okay. in the first okay. message. Um, and then ultimately what you want to do is you want to become her friend and you want to try to keep an eye out for when she goes online and then you want to chat with her. Instant message on Facebook is the best way to flirt because it's real time. Um, but if she doesn't go online, then you're going to have to do it through email messages instead through Facebook. Okay. So how long after you get a girl's Facebook can you contact her on Facebook? The next day, I think. It's not, okay. it's not so much of a rule thing because you're probably on Facebook every day. And she knows you're probably on Facebook every day. So actually, if you wait like a week, she's probably like, why hasn't he Facebooked me yet? If she specifically gave it to you. Okay. So then can you, can you, so then what would you advise? I want like one little tip and tidbit to give these guys that you, they could use right now. That if they were to meet a girl, got her Facebook, and they friend request her, what would be a good opening message for them that wouldn't be too verbose, that wouldn't be too aggressive, that wouldn't be like really loved your boobs last night, like nothing <laughs> disgusting. What is the flirty message to send that gets them a response? So you want to keep it pretty short and you want to say like, hi, so-and-so, it was awesome to meet you last night. Maybe make a joke about like something that happened. Okay. Um, like look forward to seeing you around and then your name. Oh, I like that. So not asking for anything in the first no. moment. It's really just making a statement, mm -hmm. which I, I just, agree with. Definitely. Which you're kind of saying like you're you're doing the follow up, but you're not making it like a huge action item. The action item for her is to friend you, not to like respond to all these questions that are like deep probing questions. You know, you don't want to get too deep. You just sort of want to say like, hey, I'm interested. Okay. So her friend like saying yes to your friend request is, it's like you're having a dance, right? You put your hand out, you ask for the dance, she gives it to you and stands up and starts dancing. And then it's back in your court to start leading the dance. Okay. So you're saying that if she doesn't write back or respond, then it's still an okay thing and they can proceed forward. Absolutely. Okay. So then what's the second step? So then once she friends you, um, like I said, the best thing to do is to watch for her to come online. When you're both online together, you can instant message. And then you can chat. And I mean, it could even start off with something as simple as how her day is going. Um, but you definitely want to say like, hey, and then ask a question as your next I am. Because you want there to be a conversation, right? right. And you want it to feel natural even though... We're talking in code. <laughs> no, but it's interesting. It's actually the same way that I give directions for having conversation in real life. You know, you initiate and a girl's going to look towards you and be like, all right, I'll, I'll pay attention to you, but what have you got for me? And then it's up to the guy to, to push a little bit more, either by sharing an experience or asking a question to dive a little bit deeper. It is, it is very, very similar. It's still the same thing of, and this is what I'm getting from what you're saying, it's of I have a life. I'm awesome, mm -hmm. but I'm taking two minutes out of my day to interact with you and see if you're interesting. Exactly. I love it. And I'm, like, giving you a little attention, right? Yeah, and I can take it away very easily. Yeah. No, I, I absolutely love it. I think it's it's really great what you do, and it's perfect for right now. So you assist with everything online. So if you have, you have uh, an online dating account and you're 65, you can advise them. If they're 22, yep. you can advise them. You know the best places for them to go and find women. And so I'm guessing <laughs> people can work with you virtually. So anybody all over the world could work with you for the assistance that you, you provide. Actually, one of our latest clients is in Germany. So they're literally yes. all over the world, our clients. I love it.